Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we're returning to Rule the Waves 2. So, we are playing as the US. We are in war against uh, most of the, or half of the rest of the world. So, we are in war against Germany, France, and Japan. We are, have conquered a couple of places in Japan already, uh, in particular, all of the Korean Peninsula, uh, and we are already fighting on this northern, uh, in, uh, northern island of Japan. So, that's very nice. In between episodes, I did also order an attack on the Baltic Sea, as you can see over here. So we are conducting some invasion planning. And we do have an enormous amount of forces here in Northern Europe, so I'm very optimistic that that is going to work out. Not really sure what Japan is doing here with their two battle cruisers, uh, why they're not really going home. Uh, but we're going to have to see about that. In the Caribbean, I think we're a little bit outmatched by the Germans, so I think it would be great to send up a couple of our heavy cruisers that are currently all on the northeast coast. Uh, one of them is damaged, one of them is still working up, so that I think leaves two of these ships that we can easily send down there. We're going to pick the Yukon and the Missouri, uh, because these guys do have some elite and, and fair training, and I think that is going to be alright. So, we also probably need a couple of light cruisers, I suppose. So, there aren't that many. Let's grab one of those. Um, and let's grab a couple of destroyers. And I think these hull classes are probably um, pretty good to, to take. So, only two of those. So, we would actually have to pick another of the flosser classes as well. They're fairly similar, so I think that's going to be okay. And pretty dandy actually, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's send all of these ships towards the Caribbean uh, to see whether we can intercept someone over there. We are making a lot of money, our budget is well above our current needs, so we are also designing the carrier over here, so I think that's that's nice, we are going to probably build some carriers very soon. St. Lawrence has finished working up, that's nice to see. St. Claus, some Corvette being damaged for six months, that's not really big. Ooh, Starwanger in dock for four months. That's rather unfortunate. Also, uh, having lost a... Uh, ooh, and this is not good. Okay, so Connecticut has hit a mine in Northern Europe. Um, and another ship sunk. On the other hand, we have sunk six submarines, so that's nice to see. And there's a cruise action. Let's accept that. We're going to see whether the um, Japanese will actually have enough ships to take us on. Since we know they don't have that many ships, I am ordering some attack on the air bases over here which probably was a mistake because we only have two ships over here two sun classes so uh, san francisco which is the lead ship and san diego um yeah well that's fine let's go ahead let's uh, see whether we find an enemy over here i think we should hit one very soon i.e spot one very soon uh, you can always see that the speed here is there we go uh, always locked until you get that so Let's see what that is. I think we can sail right into that direction. Our gun range should be much higher than our battle range over here. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take five minute turns here. They are apparently trying to run away. So let's try to intercept there. Try to find a nice course against these guys. And that should be okay. Right. I think we can run the game continuously here. Obviously we are being fired upon as you can see by these splashes up there. So um, let's see and hope that we can also fire. I think we are using only our frontal guns. Nope, on the San Francisco we are using all of them, so that's ideal. We still don't really know what it is, but um, there we go. Ooh, weather has cleared up. We can now see it, we don't really know what it is. San Francisco had been, has been hit uh, by something. No, San Diego has been hit, so yeah, medium hit here. I um, mean, also 5-inch guns. Since we carry 6-inch guns, I'm fairly optimistic uh, that we might come out ahead over here. But San Diego being hit again uh, here quite a couple of times now, so that is rather unfortunate. Also, your torpedo tubes have been destroyed, uh, so that's unfortunate, really. San Francisco near miss. It is tr it is turning towards us. Let's Let's... Identify the broadside over here. We've uh, hit it two times now. We still don't know what it is um, But it's a single ship here with five inch guns. So for now, I'm not too concerned um, and I think that's okay. We also oh Pretty much crossing their T Okay, so that is a little bit more concerning than I thought okay We'd only been hit by their secondary guns the five inch guns of which they do have a lot They also have ten inch guns though, and they are 13,000 tons whereas we are we're probably a match for them in Tanaj, but they're 
pretty much do have the better armor. They do have definitely the better gun setup. They are, are capable of shooting six 10-inch guns at us, uh, which is fairly, quite, quite a lot actually. So yeah, let's see over here. I think we need to turn around to try to keep our distance at least a little bit. There's a hit and two near misses, but we are also hitting them pretty heftily with our six inch guns. So actually we took out one of their turrets already, at least temporary, or at least it's jammed. We don't really know why it's been taken out. Right, okay. Doing a little bit of a wild maneuvering here, but um, still we are causing damage and I think it's slowing down. 10 knots now, so yeah. Still, all of the turrets are in action, so it's not really ideal. We are shooting three inch guns now at them, uh, which is only going to add some superstructure down. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Magazine hit, it's blowing up, uh, and that's the end of it. Uh, we're not going to pick up survivors, but yeah, that well, that's, that's fairly interesting, isn't it? Okay, um, let's go ahead then and uh, say a a little bit here towards the south try to find more enemies um, luckily the weather is overcast so I'm not expecting too many Japanese um, aircraft uh, that was a very very lucky turn of events over here some of our recon aircraft and so on are taking off from their respective bases but that means uh, the same is true for the Japanese so maybe we should actually sail away from the waters here Do we have a specific uh, objective no, we do not. So you know what? I think we will simply try to run away over here. And I guess we can move to ultra fast. Here we go. Worse weather. That's good for us because I want to get away from these Japanese islands. Lots of uh, aircraft trading down there. We are attacking apparently their base, which is nice to see. Uh, but it's not really a big fight that we are seeing over here. And there is night time, so uh, we can sail back in towards the coastal area over here. And just see whether we can find an enemy. It is, it is light rain, there is night time, so probably not. That's fine. Um, there were some transports, um, but we didn't really spot them. So still, major victory for us, only light damage to our guys. Um, and let's look at the ship details and the Fur Furutaka uh, and the lock entries over here. 20 hits, and there we go, a 6 inch hit that blows up the magazine. Armored piercing shell. Don't really know what it hit, which magazine was hit, but yeah, just like that, sunk. Okay, that's fine. I don't regret that at all. Uh, we're losing seven aircraft to their six. That's okay. Uh, nothing too major, I guess. Um, and there were a couple of land installations. Don't really see their transport ships. There was a Corvette down here. We might have spotted that one, but you know what? Other than that relatively uneventful fight um, but we are getting some points over here so that's nice to see and our uh, we can now build the Tallahassee so indeed let's go to the build screen over here and build a couple of those and um, I'm guessing about eight should should be a fairly good number that does about um, absorb our costs um, it's gonna probably not finish in this game but I think it's it's a decent uh, decent choice just to start to build these things up and next turn uh, the Intrepid is going to be available as another design, so that's okay too. Yeah, we've lost the Connecticut due to a mine, or well, not lost it, but lost it for three months. Uh, also, the uh, Lexington is out of action for quite a while here in Japan. Japan apparently moved some of their forces back, their battle cruisers, well, at least one of them. And a lot of them were moving towards Northern Europe, which is interesting. France still has two heavy cruisers over here. Germany is still having a lot of forces on our west coast, including carrier, a proper carrier. Um, on the other hand, we do have a couple of forces down here in the Caribbean. I'm guessing we should move our Caribbean forces then uh, towards the west coast. Ah, damn it. Um, let's do that. Right, there we go. All of you guys, go ahead, move towards the west coast. Try to intercept uh, the German carrier over there and hopefully that would work out. Do we have still enough forces in Northern Europe? I kind of doubt it because we only have two battleships there. Two battleships I'm guessing we have probably a couple of carriers. Don't we? Um, let's start by displacement. 
Right, so yeah, we've got four carriers. I think we're going to be all right. Yeah, that should that should be fair, pretty good. Fighting continues in Japan. Some Corvette being sunk, some Corvette being sunk, five submarines sunk. That's nice. Cruiser action. The Germans decline. Battle in Japan, and we are going to attack enemy ships. Yeah, let's attack ships. Let's see what we find and see whether we can uh, cause some damage. Right, so we've got a couple of destroyers over here and a battle cruiser, the Constitution, single battle cruiser that we have available for now. Um, we are probably going to bump into an enemy here very soon. Yeah, there we go. Where are you? Down there. And that's okay, max speed. Let's sail directly towards that. Ooh, it's a lot of ships actually. Probably a destroyer squadron. Right, let's see whether we can catch them. Probably our speed is is really insufficient to, to properly catch them. But they're not really starting to run away there. Right, okay. We've got an all forward armament, so it doesn't really hurt us to be sailing towards them that directly. Um, this is another heavy cruiser. Interesting. They are building, starting to build up quite a lot of those, actually. And I think it's the same exact class as last time. Hopefully it's not really... Hopefully it's going to blow up <laughs> in the same way. Um, as it did last time and we are having we are bringing much much bigger guns to this fight now yeah and we are scoring a lot of hits here on these guys and um, you can even see that oh uh, obviously we did hit them in the rear area here and we took out a full turret one of them temporary one uh, in the front there fully taken out uh, but we've been hit now again so yeah and, and, and indeed it's a turret disabled so we are suffering from the same problem as they are so um, that is not really great. On the other hand, they are down to one turret. We have more than that. Um, and I'm guessing we can sail towards the north over here as well. It will also help us because the weather is blowing the um, smoke away from us. So that's good. And I'm hoping that our secondary guns come into action now. Yeah, it seems like some of them at least are firing. Yeah. Constitution engine room hit. You're being hit hard over here. Yeah, still our... Overall situation seems to be fine. They don't have any rear turrets, so if they are trying to run away from us, that's pretty good for us. And although I'm slightly concerned about these destroyers that are apparently making a run for us, so they are definitely, I think, trying to cover their retreat. Um, and this Harukaze class is running straight at the Constitution, um, which is firing its secondary guns at the destroyer, and that's all right. It's turning around now, which leads me to believe that it might be firing off torpedoes. Um, let's try to turn to this direction, even though this is a little bit dangerous because of this destroyer over here. Um, and you know what, guys? You can just support, please. Yeah, and we're still firing our main guns at this guy, so um, that I appreciate a lot. Apparently these destroyers are running away as well. This one is making a funny turn, so let's make a turn as well. Hitting some of these guys there with six and, and some different tubes, so that's fine. Truxton losing some of its uh, juice. Yeah, but we do need to make sure to zigzag a little bit over here. Um, otherwise, we're, we are sure to be torpedoed. Um, I guess we can turn away a little bit even. So as not to be too close to them. We are, we are hitting them very hard over here. But is it going to be enough? Okay, let's try to turn around. This is too close for my taste. Yeah, but the nice thing is our secondary guns are mostly pointing towards the rear. So we're very, very, we can take these guys out easily as, as they come up and follow us a little bit even over here. Japan has no ships left, so all of them are sunk. <laughs> that's that's interesting. Uh, all of them sinking at the same time. But you can also see, just as we were about to finish over here, all of these torpedoes coming from our uh, our little destroyers towards their heavy cruiser. So, yeah, that would have would have been destroyed very easily. So, yeah, happy about that. Let's leave this scenario. Some good points. Uh, not worth remembering though. Uh, but we can build the Intrepid, and I think that's pretty great. So let's build at least two of these guys. Um, at the very same time, and that should be very lovely. The Langley and the Intrepid, 
yeah, I think these are good enough names. Um, got a build time off two years though, uh, but the Mansley balance is really, really bad. But I think we'd be able to shoulder that expense for the time being. Okay, let's look at the situation. So more Japanese are coming towards the east coast over here with a couple of with a battle cruiser. Still have got the Germans on the west coast. Still have got quite a couple of ships in Northeast Asian theater. And the same in Northern Europe. So, you know, I think I'm fine with this situation. So yeah, there we go. Ooh, we've taken possession of Northern Japan. We've got the France is having some trouble. The Yukon is having some trouble. And Bunker Hill is being torpedoed. That's had so many. German Raiders, Scuttle, that's great. Eight submarines sunk, lovely. Coastal Raid. Coastal Raids always, always a very contingent. Okay, let's attack the objective with our with our aircraft. I think that's going to be a good idea. So as usual, the, uh, the objective is up there. We're going to try to sail over there. We've got a pretty large force over down here. So three, three carriers, the Ranger, you should be focused on, sorry, the Wasp, the Ranger, the Wasp, Ranger, Enterprise, and Wasp, yeah, and a couple of destroyer squadrons, yeah, that's okay. Right, you guys here, what's your status? You are trying to carry uh, to screen for the Wasp, that's okay. We've got a couple of light cruisers, um, your status is to screen for the Ranger, that's okay. And then we've got these destroyers, your status is to also screen. Okay, maybe for the, for the light cruisers we could say support instead. So that's not quite as awkward. Okay, that's okay then. Range and Enterprise, your job is going to be to go due north at max speed. And we've got a little battle squadron up here, I guess. No, just light cruisers, actually. Interesting. So we don't have any battle... No, we do. We do have some battleships down there. Right, okay. Your job is going to not going to be to scout, but simply to support the battleships. And you can be supporting them directly. And you're screening for them. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Very good setup over here. Um, your job is going to be also to go due north because we don't really want to get uh, too close towards the enemy. Right, in terms of um, search patterns, I guess we don't really have to go this far left. Um, we can go a little bit more to the right, I guess, though. Um, and can I zoom out here? I feel this is, this is a fairly high distance here, but I would like to do two-phase search. I would like to go for maximum, or at the very least, very heavy combat air patrol. And I think that's going to be okay. All right. There we go. This should be fine. Good. I think we should also... Ooh, current weather does not permit air operations. Overcast? Are you serious? Yeah, apparently that is not long, but it's early morning, so we should really have a full day of flight operations here. Um, but... If we can fly, that is. If we cannot fly, then we will be moving in up our battleships towards over here. But I think for now it's it's fine to go simply north. This is really weird. I, I would not have thought that an overcast sky does not allow any air operations. And there is an annoying fly in my room. Right, okay. So if we still don't have operations then let's try to take our battleships it's even gotten worse that's great to see and then we can take our battleships there of course I'm going to do that but there we go it has come a little bit off so far we're doing okay though these battleships are streaming towards their destination pretty good so far I would say on. I guess we can go to Ultra over here. Worse weather. Worse weather is good for us. Unknown radar contact. Okay. There we go then. Let's take our battleships. Um, you're, you can actually fire this far. You have a, a very abysmal range, uh, vision range due to the bad weather and everything. But for now we can simply go ahead and stream towards our objective. I think we are firing on them by a uh, Simply by a radar. We should be able to do that. Okay, what I'm going to do is take these guys here. 
uh, these light cruisers and bring them down here try to intercept uh, whatever is there and hopefully ooh, better to be, there is another unknown contact okay but you can't really go that far away and that's okay my main objective is this guy down here and I think these are probably only corvettes or something of of smaller value basically well we don't know that of course but it's a lot of ships here uh, well let's see what have the Germans got they've got a battle cruiser they've got a carrier I would just like to destroy both of these ships so maybe it's one of these guys down here so let's at least try to see what they're up to there we go opening fire let's try to get a broadside on these guys also with our secondary guns Ben Hammer has a yeah, we are scoring hits there mostly with our six inch guns but well, we don't know what they are okay they I have definitely lost speed so it might only be a very small ship there it's a little bit of pity that you can't see how large these contacts really are I mean, we've got a feeling and they don't seem to be large ships so maybe it's okay we don't know We'll keep note that they are down there and that should be okay. And you know what, you guys here, you can go a little bit slower. Not too much, just a little bit. Right. Still very bad weather. So let's try to take out these this objective. Oh, there is not another unknown radar contact. Unidentified ship there. And more of those. I think these this seems to be a very slow ship. I'm guessing it's a merchantman. And I'm guessing these guys here are either destroyers or corvettes. So something is going to happen here very soon with these guys. Okay, um, light cruiser. Try to drive this direction. Scoring hits over here. That's good. You guys can form up a battle line, a proper battle line over here. And what have we got over there? Hey, I really hope it's not a destroyer or something. Otherwise we are in a lot of trouble with torpedoes. Still don't know though. Colorado engine room hit. Okay, what were you hit by? 16 inch gun. 16 inch gun does tell me that one of these guys is probably their battle cruiser. And that means we do need to come about over here you guys and these destroyers let's get you towards a line ahead formation and let's drive you right into here this is a merchantman as we expected he's on fire that's okay let's drive the light cruisers also into the enemy over there see which ship exactly is that um, battle cruiser you've sustained two heavy hits now both in these oh and all engines disabled that's a horrible result. That basically, basically slows it down to nothing. And the Colorado is taking many, many heavy hits here. Superstructure hit. We are being obliterated by that battle cruiser. Is it this guy though? If it is, then we might be losing the Colorado here. It's it's not a German ship, it's a French ship. It's the Solifano class, fairly modern, very, very big, eight 16 inch guns. Well, that is something. Well, now we are kind of committed due to the fact that the uh, Colorado is up here. Um, these destroyers here, can you go to maybe a little bit less fast? so that you can catch up a little bit more. Let's bring the light cruisers in between over here. We're gonna sail these destroyers um, at maximum speed or at, at great speed over here. They do need to come up and, and form a proper battle line. Um, Colorado is doing something very, very weird over here. 60% damage. Very low speed. At least your turrets are pointing in the right direction, so that's nice. San Bernardino is being hit over here. Or at least uh, being nearly hit, I should say. 
There is supposedly another battleship, so and that certainly is interesting. I would really like to move a class. No, that's a destroyer. Two battleship it says. We don't really know. Stop. Uh, we don't really know about that. You are still out of action. Okay, let's turn together towards this direction. You guys, do not be AI controlled. Your job is going to be to be independent line ahead. Well, we do need to bring our battleships a little bit closer to what's over here so that we can box them in there and actually do some proper damage. Alternatively, we could just wait for, for the Colorado to be repaired and, and come back online. What's the torpedo range? It's very high actually, so maybe if we bring it towards down here. Okay, now you're sailing towards the enemy. That is in principle appreciated. Um, but I do really need you to, to launch torpedoes there. You're not really gaining speed on the battleships. Ah, some torpedoes being launched, that's nice. But it seems to be a little bit of a mess over here. Yeah, and they're not going anywhere really. So, Colorado. You have a lot of problems. The worst thing that could happen now is the weather clearing up. Are you guys? Uh, yeah, you're still on independent. Ooh, this is very good though. A lot of torpedoes being launched um, on the broad side over there. Uh, no, I do not want to. Okay, you guys. Um, max speed. It would be great if at least some of these torpedoes here were to hit um, their battleships. Oh, come on. I think it's probably only if they like cruiser. Bainbridge being so our torpedoes, uh, our destroyers are being hit over here, but honestly, I'm fine with this if if it does mean um, that we are taking out some of the battleships. Okay, what are we gonna do over here? We are gonna be in knife fighting range. Bainbridge has sustained a lot of hits over here and is probably gonna go down. Hmm. Okay, let's try to turn about uh, over starboard. And this is indeed the German battlecruiser Brandenburg. Right, we can take you guys here and do another torpedo run, I guess. I, I, I'm guessing this. Okay, let's bring in the light cruiser. Brandenburg class is being hit by a lot of ships over here. And you have lost at least one of your turrets, so that's good to see. Uh, you're not supposed to have any torpedo tubes, but we don't really know. That light cruiser is extremely dangerous towards us. Okay, and you guys here really need to launch at the Brandenburg class. How fast is it? 20 knots. Brandenburg class being hit by a lot of guns. This is this is extreme fire on these guys. But really, I would love to see some torpedoes here. This would be an ideal firing position. Okay, let's get you guys away from turning to, to uh, together. Let's try to turn about this way. So we can put more fire into them. Yeah, there we go. No! No! No, 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 no! Torpedo hit on the Colorado. But we are launching some good salvers here on them as well. Okay, let's turn together. Let's try to turn away from them. Brandenburg being hit by a torpedo. That's good to see. Um, you guys can try to try to move up this way. Okay, let's try to protect our Colorado over here and see whether we can do something. 
Maybe go a little bit more like this. Yeah, so launch a couple of more torpedoes. Front book being hit, great. And then you guys can go back to sort of a normal pattern. You're not suffering from too much flotation, but your speed is abysmal, so... Let's get you out of here. This is a mess. Lots of torpedoes firing at the Sulfano. Nice. We are causing a lot of damage over here. I'm just really concerned about the Colorado. What's happening over here? Okay, oh that's just the Bremen. This guy is burning and, and he's on basically on fire, so... Hey, well, burning and on fire. Um, you guys still have a lot of torpedoes left, so you know what? Um, let's try to get you towards... Over here. Bremen class hit by a torpedo, nice. Not crucial, but nice. Um, and have you got on the starboard side? Starboard side, swivel mount, yeah, you've got at least four torpedoes left. And this would be a very good good target. Cambridge will go down. I think Brontenburg will go down. This guy here, I'm a little bit more more concerned. Okay, let's get the uh, you guys out of there. You're launching two torpedoes at the Brontenburg. That's appreciated. Hit by hit by both of them. Very lovely. Right, let's turn about over here and cover the retreat of the Colorado. San Bernardino has very little ammunition, that's okay. We basically only needed to launch a couple of torpedoes there. I'm very certain the Brandenburg class is gonna go down anyway, so might not be too crucial here. What about this guy? Some torpedoes being launched there, that's okay. Bainbridge, um, you, my friend. Oh, well, you're not, still not going down yet. Colorado. Colorado will be out of action for such a long time. Santa Rosa, over here. So we've got, we've actually, I think this is our first, our very first proper magazine hit. You don't have anything in port. Yeah, you do have some in port. So you could launch at the Solifano, and you are actually launching, so that's great. Nice. Good stuff. Right. We are trying to withdraw over here, though. Maybe another hit over there? No, not really. Okay, let's try to get out of here. Um, let's try to get our carriers a little bit more involved. And then let's see. Bainbridge reports an unknown radar contact where don't see it. California is being engaged. Someone is shooting. You're not really shooting back, are you? Okay. Can we go a little bit more like this then? Try to get your turrets involved. Yeah, now you are shooting. Unknown ships? Uh, that's probably you guys over there. Okay, can you go back to not being independent but screening for our battleships? And the Bainbridge also. Let's go for screening. You guys are supporting him. So the loss of that light cruiser, very, very unfortunate. Um, Colorado, are you actually engaging? Yeah, you are. And you can. Well, that's nice. Don't think we are scoring a lot of hits here, but you might. Juliet. Who is Juliet? You guys down here. On fire? Yeah, you're gonna go down. There, there was a torpedo hit tube. That was... That was really bad for you. Okay, I would really love to target this land structure if, if it's still there. Um, and if the Colorado was going to make a little bit more speed then we might actually risk that a little bit more. We've suffered so many hits here. Not really many, but just very severe ones. Only six hits in total. That's not that's not a lot. Bainbridge is sinking. Not exactly um not exactly a big surprise, but Okay, can you No, you can only fire at the unidentified ship. Not at any land target. It might or might not be here. Well, 
Still good that there is no weather. Are you guys set to screen? Yeah, you are. I wonder why you're not doing that. Okay, let's get the battleships out. I think this is too risky. We're not gonna risk the battleship that is extremely heavily damaged um, in pursuing this, this guy, this target. Maybe the weather is gonna clear up. Maybe we're gonna find um, we, we are, we'll be able to use some of our aircraft. No, there's night time. Yeah, no, 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 I'm fine. I, th I think I think we, we've done more than enough over here. Do you have the sinking? Yeah, we've, we've lost a lot of ships over here, but I am very confident that we've caused so much damage to their battlecruiser and battleship that hopefully, hopefully, um, they are also going to sink after the engagement. Otherwise, um, otherwise we'd be really in, in a lot of trouble. Juliet has sunk. Yeah, we are still only capable of making 40 knots, but 14 knots. Uh, but I think we're going to be all right over here. Right, let's go to Ultra. Not sure what you guys are doing. Um, yeah, but if we had one more battleship, if that one battleship hasn't been hadn't been hit by a mine, um, then I think we'd be in a much better position. But of course we aren't, so. Uh, that's a little bit moot to think about. Right, you guys um, can go down there. You are still not capable of making any better speed. So that's fine. It's pretty much night time and raining, so very unlikely to find anything over here. There we go. Heavy damage to one of our battleships, light damage to another. One light cruiser sunk, one, two destroyers sunk. That's a very, very hefty, hefty loss ratio over here. But on the German side, a battlecruiser and a battleship sunk, so so that is very very nice to see. Five torpedo hits, forty-five heavy hits. Let's let's look at that. How many of these guys? Yeah, basically all of these hits here uh, were a little bit superfluous. Don't see any torpedo hits though. So, but maybe I'm just overlooking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some of these torpedoes were really. Really, a little bit too much. Uh, we didn't need to them because they were—they had been sinking for quite a while. They just hadn't gone down yet. But that's pretty, pretty understandable. Was there any critical hit? Superstructure, secondary? No. We did score hits earlier than they did, but other than that, some fires being started at some point. Solifano, how about you? Only two torpedo hits on you, so that's nice to see. And you weren't actually, yeah. The heavy seas did did do it for you. So some some early hits. Torpedo by Benham actually, and then you you're limiting your flooding. To another torpedo by by Santa Rosa, and actually it wasn't you know, it was only showing flooding of nine when it went down. So it was actually a very tight call over there. Yeah. Aircraft losses, ship differential. Um, we did fail to destroy our target, but man oh man did we did we sink a lot of ships. Also a couple of destroyers and auxiliaries and all of that. That is pretty much irrelevant, but yeah. Nice, nice win over there. And um, that is is a worthwhile memory. But that does leave us with absolutely no battleships intact. We have in fact only have one one capital ship at this very moment. Um, that isn't a carrier. It's only the Constitution, and that is not currently in a dry dock, um, and that is a bit of an issue. Also because of the Bunker Hill being in dock here as well. So yeah, a lot of issues that we are seeing over here. But we did also sink quite a couple of ships over there. Um, let's ha take a brief look here at the Almanac, uh, and then probably we're going to end the episode. So. Two battle cruisers uh, on the Japanese side. Pretty much no other capital ships in France or Germany. Although Germany seems to be rebuilding one of theirs, maybe. Uh, we don't see exactly. Or they are actually building a Sean Horse class. That's it. Would be a new battleship. That's that's new. Although I'm not sure why it's not showing that as a single ship being building over here. Um, and still three, no five. Sorry. Three, three aircraft carriers in service, and two battle cruisers. So probably the Japanese battle cruisers are the biggest threat at this very moment. One of them is close to Southeast Asia, so 
uh, there we might see an engagement soon. Uh, but we've also conquered uh, the island of Hokkaido, so um, we might be staffing some air bases over there. We're probably going to do that uh, in between episode. So, so yeah, that should hopefully be fine. That being said, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.